how to exclude products from discount on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can exclude automatically the products that you don't want to set on the promotion that you are going in your store. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead and visit Shopify.com. Then you are going to sign into your account. And after that, you will face this admin dashboard. Right here, we have the left side menu, which contain our items that we can go ahead and modify and visit. The first thing that you need to do is to set up the products. Here, click on products, and you are going to add the product. Simply click on add product. Then you are going to proceed with the editor. Right here, we have an editor. You can put the title, the description, add some media, add categories, pricing, and here we have the inventory, the quantity, and also the shipping. If you have some variants, you can add them. And here we have the product set. You can also add a product type, vendor, collection, and tags, etc. Now, after you have finished adding the product, you will see here multiple products that you have added uh, by the time. Now everything is accumulated and we have all the products that we need to collect and set the collection. Now, how to make a discount? This is a good question. All you have to do to make this discount is to click on the discount on the left side bar right there also. Click on it and it will open up the discount page. How to create a discount? You are simply going to click on create discount. Now we have four types of discounts. Amount of products, buy X, get Y. This is a recently used or mostly used on the uh, buy one, get two uh, or the second product for free. We have also the amount of order. As you can read right here, discount the total order amount. And finally, we have the free shipping. And who doesn't know what is a free shipping? Now, let's go ahead and set the amount of product. But before that, we are going to create a collection. So that collection will be included inside that discount because Shopify will make and set the rules like that. Whenever you are going to create a discount, this discount will get or affect certain products and also certain collections that you can set manually. It is not automatically. You can set all the products or set a little of these products or some of the collections and the other or the rest of the remaining products will be disqualified and also excluded from that discount or that offer that you have going on i mean by that there is no particular button that will make some product discountable and also some products excluded from a discountable now all you have to do is to create a collection that you are going to set a multiple products and set those only for sale, for example, or create a discount code special for these products. I'm going to give you an example. Here, when you click on products, we have multiple options. We have the products itself or themselves, and we have the collection right here underneath the products. You click on collections right here, and then we are going to see all the collections that has been set. So we are going to create a collection. Create the first collection. Now we have the title, the description, and the collection type. Now, simply we are going to set the title of it. I'm going to put this counted collection, collection like that. And we have here the description. You can set it or let it, for example, uh, you can see uh, that you can set it also empty. You can add an image to that specific collection. And here we have the collection type. Either you add the product manual, like that, add product to this collection one by one. You are going to add them or make them automated. Now, I am going to add the manual and then we are going to create a collection that will be automated now let's go ahead and set the title right there when you finish this this is the title i'm going to click on save 
and this is the first step now we are going to add manually the product to this collection go ahead and click on products again and select the products that you are going to set for example i am going to add that product this is the sweater wear staple i'm going to add it and how to add that product it is very easy go ahead right there within the collection and now we are going to add that collection or that product to a specific collection i'm going only to add it to the discounted collection click on save and here we have it now let's go ahead right there to the products again and i am going to add more products let's go for example for this maybe this iphone case i'm going to set it right there also add or make it like before we're going to search right there on the right side bar right here to the collection go ahead and uh, disable all of the uh, unfavorable uh, collections and of course add the discounted only click on save to make sure that the code will work properly so now we are going to set it let's go ahead right there and save and here we have the collection set within a two products so i'm going to get this uh, description for this right here collection i'm going to view it and normally we are going to find only two products and here we have it now let's go to the discounts and we are going to create a discount for that specific collection click on create discount and amount of products i'm going to select the first one and then we are going to set it as discount code i'm going to put for example 50 15 off off like that and i'm going to put right there 15 off uh, now like that here we have the discount value you can set it as a percentage i'm going to set it only a, as a percentage you can add it or make it as a fixed amount and now applies to this is the most important part specific collection or specific products i'm going to set it for specific collection here we have the purchase type here we have one time purchase subscription or both i'm going to set it for only one time purchase and now for the collection you are going to see all of the collections that you have added now we have the discounted collection i'm going only to add it but here we have the discounted collection the minimum purchase requirement you can set it for example but in my case i will let it as no minimum requirement customer eligibility you have to set it for all the customers if you are not uh, very uh, picky within the customers we have the maximum discount uses you can set a limit and we have the combination you can add a product discount also order discount or a shipping discount here we have the active dates start and ending dates i'm going to set or save that discount and wait for a few seconds until everything is going to be in order that was for the manual put now let's go ahead and create another collection within the automatic so how can we do that simply go ahead right here and create a new collection now for the title i'm going to put auto discount and name it just for that here we have the description and for the collection type set it automated condition we have two conditions all conditions or any conditions here we have the option to set for example product tags price and etc you can filter the products i'm going to set it only for product tags equal to and here we are going to set something you can go ahead and select one of these suggestions or these uh, keywords that have been in your uh, store or you can set for example discount discounted now here we have it so whenever you add a tag which is discounted right here to a product it will be going right there to the collection let's go ahead and click on save and i will let you see here the demonstration till now nothing is um, not included in the collection and also the uh, discount so uh, whenever a product is not listed it is automatically excluded from that discount 
now let's go ahead to the product again and we are going to select the products that we are going to set for that specific auto discount collection i'm going to set this maybe i'm going to the toy right there i will let you see here how we can do it for the tags we are going to select a tag so simply go to that product details click on tags and now we are going to add a new tag named discounted we are going to add it and here we have it now we have the tag click on save and this is the first product i'm going to add another product and see the collection how it will be now wait for a few seconds until the changes saved now let's add another product which is this best coffee plastic cup so i'm going to add it and then we are going to make another discount code for them so we are going to set something like that here we have the tags i'm going to set this discounted right here and here we have the tag click on save and now we are going to wait for a few seconds then we are going to visit our collection we have the auto discount we click on it right there we are going to see the collection normally it will get these two last products that we have made the toy and also i don't remember exactly what was the product uh, but uh, it is a coffee plastic cup here we have it this is the uh, two products now you can add a discount for this special uh, uh occasion or this special collection you can go ahead and add another discount for example here now to this is the code i'm going to copy that code because i need it and you can set the product discount and set everything right here we're going to select that collection browse that collection auto discount and here we have it everything is included not all the product but we have only specific product and the rest is, is excluded now how can i prove you that it is real i'm going to make a order so we are going to visit for example this uh, product that we have made i'm going to visit that uh, collection so let's choose one of these we have the discounted collection so i'm going to view it now we are going to see our card what it has so we have the eco now let's go ahead and set that uh, or let that eco i'm going to add these go ahead and add this one i'm going to add it to the card now i'm going back and add this also this phone case i'm going to add it to the cart also now we are going to view that cart we have two normally uh, discountable products and we have the non-discountable products as you can see nothing is applicated right here so we are going to click on checkout then we are going to see and apply that code simply i'm going to set here we have the 15 off here we have the 15 off so i'm going to apply that code and apply it right there and as you can see it has the 15 off right now couldn't be used with your existing discounts so i have already a discount going on so i'm going to deactivate it and then we are going to make it so now i have removed that code everything is set as you can see we have nothing applied so i'm going simply to apply the code for the first one it is called 15 off now apply and as you can see the discounted product or the selected product are discounted and here we have it this is for the sweater with a test apple and the uh, iphone case and the eco dot is not discounted that means that it is excluded and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one